Okay, so this is going to be a really quick tutorial for Unity 2017. Um, just how to pick up objects, move them around, and drop them wherever you want. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so starting off I have a really, really basic scene here. Uh, there's not much going on. I have a, a basic uh, little cube that I've made really quick uh, with a rigid body. The rigid body is going to be essential to this. Uh, go ahead and start with having use gravity checked and is kinematic false. And I have the um, standard assets first person controller or FPS controller uh, just dragged into the scene. And starting off, there's not really much I can do here. I have added a little bit of a crosshair, but I can't pick up this cube no matter what buttons I press. I can bump into it and uh, move it around like that. but. I really want to be able to pick this cube up. So uh, we're going to create a script um, on the puzzle cube. So add component, new script, and we're going to call it um, move object. And make sure it's C sharp. OK, so coming into Visual Studio for our move object script, I've started by creating a few public game objects and one public transform. And to start off with, I called the first game object public game object item, the second one public game object temp parent, and I called our transform public transform guide. Uh, in the void start section, go ahead and type item.get component rigid body dot use gravity and set that equal to true. And you have to create a new void down here, so skipping over void update and call it void on mouse down. And in that Start by typing item.getComponent.RigidBody.UseGravity rigid and set it to false. Then put item.getComponentRigidBodyIsKinematic and set it to true. Uh, next we're going to teleport our item using uh, item.transform.position uh, equal to guide.transform.position. And same thing for rotation uh, right here. Uh, so item.transform.rotation is set to guide.transform.rotation. Uh, for the last one, it's item.transform.parent, and we're going to set it so that way it's a uh, child of temp parent.transform. And then create a new uh, a void. Uh, we don't want this to be private, so my bad. We just want it to be void on mouse up right here. And for the first one, uh, you can copy these two and just reverse it so that way it's uh, use gravity, set it to true and then is kinematic, set it to false. And then we want to unparent it from temp parent by using item.transform.parent and set it to null. And last we want to teleport it one more time to guide's position by using item.transform.position and set it to guide.transform.position. And that's it for the script. Okay, so coming back into Unity, we want to go into our uh, FPS controller, open it up, and select on first person character. Uh, right click and hit create empty. And we're going to rename this to guide, uh, which is what we referenced in our script. And now clicking on the puzzle cube, which is what we added our script to, we're going to drag puzzle cube onto the item slot. For the temp parent, we're going to drag guide. And we're going to drag guide again onto the guide section. And so now, uh, Let's see, we want to position guide to where we want it, to, uh, to the position that we want our cube to be in. So we want to see which way our camera is facing. All right, so it's facing that way. So we want guide. And uh, we probably want to move it along the z-axis uh, by one, no, how about 2.5. That's probably good. You can mess around with this if you want the object that you're holding to be closer or farther. Uh, it just really depends on your preference. And so now if we play, let's see, go ahead, and you can pick it up, walk it around. Uh, you just do this by holding in the left mouse button, and whenever you're done with it, you can just let go, and it'll drop where it is. So yeah, uh, there you have it. That is how to pick an object up and move it around in Unity 2017. Thanks for watching.